YouTube, YouTube, we back here with another motherfucking playback reaction. We got a motherfucking boy agent and a motherfucking legend. I know it was low, but let's know when he, Miles Bridges fumbled the bag, but who cares? Who cares, motherfuckers? He he beat her, and he did it in front of their ch his ch child, bro. Damn. Daddy, daddy choked mommy. Damn. Daddy choked mommy? Why? Because he, he needed to fight together. Well, what did you do? I said, it's not going to be daddy doesn't be nice. You hit him and told him to be nice? What What did he do that for, though? They, 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 they were fighting each other. Where, where's your mommy's phone? He threw in the window. He threw it out the window? Yeah, Daddy did it. He threw her phone out the window? Where'd he put her shoes? He it out the window. Oh my gosh, why? Because he, he wasn't being nice. I say smack him, though. Yeah, that's not very nice. You have to be nice to people. So, th and this, this is another, like, a part of society I just don't understand. There's too many people who are, like, who pedestalize, like, athletes and celebrities and have no idea who the fuck they are. Mm -hmm. I, I get I get tired of people saying there, oh, man, he made it to the NBA. Oh, he, he this, he that. He worked hard. That Like, bro, y'all don't know these people. He threw it away. And, and, and y'all are pedestalizing people that y'all don't know. Y'all making role models of people that you have no idea who they are behind the scenes. And this man is just going around, like, literally getting physical with his wife and not only doing it, or his baby mama, whoever she may be. And not only is doing that, but he's doing that so recklessly that he's doing it in front of the child. Oh, that's crazy. You know, children don't lie. Yeah, and, he's, <laughs> and, and you can clearly tell like, bro, he is saying this casually. He's like, yeah, he just threw it out the, your dad doesn't throw phones out the window. Yeah, of course. Yeah, like, cause that's just the life he lives. That's all he knows his dad sometimes Nigga, throw shit out the window. And for him to be that age and to know what choking looks like. Oh, come on. Like, I was watching I WWE don't... at that age. Yeah, I was watching fucking Undertaker choke slam people off a cell. But I see what you're but saying. But imagine, but imagine, like, come on. Because I wouldn't know what a choke slam is. Somebody choking somebody, I just, I wouldn't be like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I, I, even as a child, I'd be like, whoa. Like, what is going on right now, bro? Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's so odd, bro. And for, again, for him to do that at, like, in front of his child, it's crazy. NBA Twitter, unfortunately, I'm a part, part of it. What they say? Too many grown adults, grown. Let me tell you back. Too many grown men are saying, "Damn man, he fucked up and he fumbled a bag, man." That's true. Yeah, but why is that the first thing? That shouldn't be the first. Yeah, thing. That, why when we talk about it and they be like, "Man, that's yeah, he he dumb. He was just about to sign. He's about to get max. He was about to get max." And I'm like, "Nigga, this is not first take. Why? Why are we? Why are we not?" I always thought that was interesting. Why are we talking? Sometimes, about Sometimes like life will happen and. Sports people will only think about it like through a sports context. Yeah. Like somebody will die and they'll be like, damn, guess the Lakers aren't winning the chip next year. I'm like, what in the like, what are you talking yeah, about, bro? They might not. That's probably true, bro, but what the fuck is your priorities at? Man, it should make me so sad. He does because they have like they have like to have a child and just do that in front of the child is pretty disturbing. You have to not care like at all. And I'm gonna be honest with y'all playback. We cannot we literally cannot show Can't some of these photos on, on here, bro. It, it, it's um it's it's egregious bro it's it's just egregious is that what she said <clears throat> this is what she said i hate that it had to come to this but i can't be silent anymore i've allowed someone to destroy my home abuse me in every way possible traumatize our kids for life i have nothing to prove to the world but i won't allow anyone who could do something so horrible to have no remorse and paint a picture of something i'm not i won't allow the people around him to continue to silence me and continue to lie and protect this person it's unethical, it's immoral, it's truly sick. It hurts my heart because I've always had hope and so much love, and as scary as this is for me public? to do, it's time I stand up for myself. I won't be silent to protect others anymore because I value myself and my kids more than anyone's image. A fractured nose, wrist, torn eardrum. It hurts everything, hurts the situation, hurts most importantly, I'm scared and hurting my kids. This is fucking brutal to read. Yeah, I know. This is brutal. I know. I'm uh, and, and as of right now, well, I know I think they said that he went to jail. And he's on bond. Yeah, he got charged. Yes, yeah, so we got charged already. Yeah, it is still a legend until he gets convicted. But he convicted. Got charged. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. All right, cool. So it's it's still we want to say allegedly, but um, again, some of these pictures playback that we just can't we cannot show you. Some of these pictures are pretty uh, damning. I'm not gonna be I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you. And then his own child saying those things and saying them casually and like it's I mean it's I mean it's it's, it's damning, bro. Dave Chappelle said it like 
uh, in his For What It's Worth special, like, 15, 16 years ago. But I don't know why people, like, pedestalize celebrities. I don't like, know Like, they're regular people yes. that were just, they have a fucking platform and influence. Like, the fact that people in positions of power like that have influence is crazy. Yeah, you know, just weeks ago, my stream was telling me to listen to his music. Apparently, he raps. It's not even bad. Okay, mm -hmm. this shit kind of good. It's um interesting to like know also how many people are probably protecting this whole situation yeah. just because of like the financial incentives like he makes up a boatload of money how many people he was just taking care of mm -hmm. like now their their lives are also like completely ruined because he fucked up which is horrible because like they're like she sat there and said there's plenty of people who probably just protect them who knew about this who won't say anything about it and for it to have gone on this long is pretty it's pretty crazy bro I, I don't know bro but y'all y'all like like agent said bro y'all gotta stop pedestalizing people people that you do not know bro y'all yeah. don't know these people. at all like think about don't it don't know bro. you we like you get to we get to edit videos and these broadcasts are like they fucking rehearse these shits everything nice. is polished like sports is a little different because it's live but in, in most forms of enter entertainment, it goes through processes of revision before you get to see it. So you see the version that they want you to see. There's a lot of stuff that's cut out you don't get a chance to see. And, and even, even the forms of content, like reality shows that are supposed to be more raw and real, those are the fakest ones where they draw out and fake drama. I'm telling you, man, most of the shit you hear people see, most of the shit you see people do on the internet, but it is not real. And so they'll build this impression of themselves as the type of person that they are. When you get a chance to meet them in real life or you spend any sort of meaningful time with them, you realize that they might be another way. And they just sell themselves this way because it's a good brand. Man, I done fucking sat there in studios and listens to re listen to reference tracks for like popular songs. Yeah, no. It's so like disheartening to think that an artist, someone who's supposed to be creative, had their entire song from the lyrics, the melody, the beat, like every single part of it was already designed by somebody else at a label and then given to the artist. And they did a bad version of it and it still did good. It's cause it's the face that sells. But there's people that make hundreds of millions behind the scenes, but they put people in front of the camera that sell. So it's like, none of the shit is real, bro. Entertainment is designed to be entertainment. But the second you start taking it too seriously and you, you hold people like Miles Bridges to some high standard, and now you get some, like, I'm not saying assume the worst in people, but I'm also saying, man, you gotta question shit when you see it on the internet, man. Show on the screen like what people were just saying. Like, I don't know why NBA Twitter or just Twitter in general is talking about this through the lens of, like, a fucking, like, basketball take. As if, like, no, he just put his hand on a woman. He's, like, repeatedly to the point where she was, un like, she just concussions and, like, all a whole bunch of other stuff. And then in front of a child, bro. People sitting there saying, man, <clears throat> he fumbled a bag, man. He threw it all away, man. He a dummy, man. 173 million. Like, what are y'all saying? Y'all saying, so if you would have gotten it, then it would have been okay? Are y'all saying that it would be lesser? Like, bro. It doesn't matter. Again, it has no, it literally doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if he did it before he got into the NBA, when he signed his rookie deal, in the middle of it, in the middle of his max contract. It doesn't matter, bro. It just does not matter, bro. Y'all have to stop talking about things that occur in people's lives through a lens of, of whatever they're in the field of. Like, it's the same thing with the whole R. Kelly situation because he actually finally got convicted. That's not that. And then everybody's like, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to miss. I mean, he threw it all the way, man. I'm going to miss that new music. It's like, bro. Man, y'all, y'all mad, sick, y'all nasty, y'all disgusting. It didn't matter if Miles Bridge, Bridges wasn't a millionaire. It's still wrong, bro. It has nothing to do with his financial status. Putting your hands on a woman is wrong. It's wrong. It's wrong. Doing it in front of the kids is even it's worse. It's even crazier. Not everybody has to deal with trauma. It's crazier, bro. Hey, man, let us know what y'all thoughts are in the comment section below. And, um, <coughs> man. Man, if you know, you know, man. Shit happens to females, man. Pop just went too fast. Probably pulled them around. But females know. And we know, bro. The real, bro. But at the same time, you know? You're not supposed to do it. Man, if he go to jail, his career is probably over here. Yeah. And he's pretty good too, so I'm really in his prime. 